we have had through today 58,000 people vote early and uh, we had 42,000 in 2016. Record numbers as voters continue to line up at both the Judicial Center and at the Hamilton County Fairgrounds. From an elections person standpoint, this is wonderful. There's been a lot of talk and concerns that on the national level, this could get messy on election night. We actually mailed out over 45,000 absentee ballots. We have 36,000 back of that. We have about 10,000 that are still out to be able to come back between now and election day. But Kathy is convinced here locally, they've got it covered. We have had a great opportunity to work with our, post, our local post office and they have been super to us. Um, they are, uh, when the mail goes through, uh, when they see ballots, and obviously our ballots stick out because they're a bigger envelope and stuff, they're pulling them so they're not going to Indianapolis and coming back. Um, so we've been getting, uh, I had a friend of mine turn her ballot in at the post office on a Thursday afternoon and we had the ballot in our mail on Friday. Voting continues all week through Saturday and then on Monday till noon and of course Election Day, November 3rd. From our perspective here, we've been doing elections since um, uh, around February and when filing started. You know, uh, the primary got extended into June, so we only had about a month off and then we were back doing election stuff again. So so we're, we're kind of getting to the war down <laughs> stage here in terms of, of the election. but. Uh, Got a, I have a great staff and, and everybody's working hard. When the mail comes in, it's just, everybody just jumps right in and gets everything done. And so uh, we're, but we're, we're pretty much ready for it to be over too. <laughs> Another big matchup we're watching this week in Noblesville is the Battle of Noblesville, the girls 3A state championship in soccer. It's two Noblesville schools, Noblesville against Garen Catholic. That game is Saturday night at Fishers High School. And that's a little bit of what's happening in Noblesville. I'm Will Hampton for The Times, 24-7.com.